get this working. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope it works, because, I don't know. So, this is going to be a video inspired by my friend Mike Falzone. He's funny, he kind of looks like Jesus, kind of looks like Jon Snow. I, I think you'd like him. There's going to be a link to his channel in the description down there. I don't know why this means down there, but it does now. He and Olin Rogers made this video called Seven Things That I Feel Guilty About, and I watched it, and I liked it, but, you know, I don't really feel that guilty about a lot of things, so <laughs> this is gonna be several things that I'm not proud of, because there are a lot, and I mean a lot of things that I'm not proud of. Like, if I don't go to bed, feeling absolutely ashamed of myself, then my day just isn't complete. The days when I'm feeling not absolutely horrible about myself are the days where I go outside because that usually fixes that whole problem. And whenever I go outside, I always find myself with just, just a, a handful of crumpled up paper, like receipts and bus transfers and deeds to old haunted farms. So I go to throw that out, but there's these new garbage cans that have a hole for different types of garbage, like there'll be like a paper hole and a recycling hole, and then just like a garbage hole. And because there's not a hole for every type of trash, I always just throw everything in the garbage hole. Sometimes there'll be an idiot standing by those, and he'll go, that doesn't go in there. But where else am I supposed to throw my unwanted newborn? It's certainly not recyclable, sir. Excuse you. By the end of this video, I'm hoping to convince you that I'm a giant pile of shit. So anyway, this might be something that you never really would have guessed about me, but I love swearing. I love swearing because, first of all, it's fun, uh, it's easy to do, and it's free. How many things are both fun and free anymore? And you just get to say a swear word, and it just comes out of your mouth, and it's like this lovely pink cloud, and it just dissolves into the universe, and it makes you feel good. I don't know if ever you've done this when you were a kid, but have you ever like said to somebody who wasn't like your parent but was still like older than you, have you ever just told them to fuck off? N not for no reason, but just said fuck off to somebody who was older than you who had no real power over you because that was the greatest thing. Cause there was nothing they could do. You just get to stand there and watch their face boil over with rage. I, I mean, they probably went home and took it out on a loved one, but that's not my problem right now. And at the time, it was the greatest thing. So when I was a kid, I would rush home from school just so I could walk around the house swearing. Just swearing at inanimate objects for no reason other than the fact that I could. And most days, it was good. But, you know, there was no real reaction from the objects. So I'm not proud of this, but it's coming from a very real place. Uh, on my walk home from school, I would walk by this old folks home, like a, like a retirement center, and it would be on the other side of a fence, and there would be old people outside just, just being old and being there. And I would stand on the other side of the fence and just give the finger to the old people. And, and it would be amazing just to watch their faces go, What? No! 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 What? What? No! <laughs> and there would be other times where I would walk past a payphone, and look, if you want to call an operator on a payphone, all you have to do is pick up the phone and dial double zero, and it connects you straight to an operator, straight to a human being who's just there to help. So I would call the operator, and they would pick up, and they would be like, Hello, operator, how can I help you? And I would just be on the other line going, Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Fucking bitch, fuck you, fuck, 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 fucking bitch. Yo, you, you damn, you damn bitch, you fucking bitch. And they would get really mad, and I would hang up the phone, get all my giggles out, and then call back immediately, and they would pick up, and they would go, hello, operator, how can I help you? And I would be like, hi, I'm just wondering uh, what time it is. I, I just really need to know the time. And also, fuck you, you fucking bitch, I, I bet it's Bitch o'clock, you damn bitch. You, you stupid bitch, you, you damn bitch. And then I would hang up the phone again. And I didn't know this at the time, and I this is a tip from me to you, but they can call back. They have your number, and they can call back. And there was this other time when I was riding the bus, and I was listening to music with my headphones in, and I ripped a fart. And judging by the heads that turned to look at me, it must have been a big one, because the lady right in front of me like did a 180 degree thing just to look at me, and then I realized, oh crap, I gotta cover my tracks, and so I did one of these things where you gotta 
you just kind of sniff the air, and then I looked at the person behind me who was also listening to music and hadn't heard me fart, and just went, oh. So, I totally shoveled all of the blame onto the person behind me. Person behind me, if you're watching this video right now, you don't know this, but just everybody on the bus thought you farted. I'm not sorry, but yeah, I thought you should know. So, um, there also was this, this period in my life where my mom was married to this guy who I didn't care for whatsoever, and <laughs> I'm really not proud of this. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little proud of it because I'm telling you, but I used to pee amongst other things into his shampoo bottle and body wash bottle and I don't think he ever noticed because he never said anything but he was totally just rubbing urine and whatever else comes out of my body all over himself and he would just walk around smelling of me just probably for months and that's just a thing that I used to do every day and it probably got to the point where that shampoo was like 50% pee, 50% other stuff just no shampoo left whatsoever. They say that some of that stuff is good for your hair anyway, I guess. And there's just been days in my life where I've had to just kind of lie to get out of hanging out with people. It's not because there was something I would rather be doing or something better came up that was just probably a lot more fun. It's just that I valued just being in my underwear on the couch more than I valued human interaction that day. Like, yeah, I could totally go out and experience life and see people and hear sounds, but I could also eat a pint of ice cream and fart myself into a nap. And some days it's just, mm, most days are my gross days. And those are the days where I just need to be airing out my downstairs and thinking about taking a shower, but then totally never taking a shower. Like, I've had days where I've been like, what's that smell? And within three sniffs, I've discovered that it was something on my body. And those days are the days that are just for me. It's not like these things happen randomly throughout my life. I'm not recalling them so that I can write a novel. I'm a horrible person most days. Like, the other day I was mowing the lawn. And that's when, by chance, I happened to stumble upon what was probably the biggest pile of dog shit in the world. And it just looked like somebody had dropped a pile of eight balls in the corner of my yard. And my neighbor had his car parked adjacent to it. Which I hope means beside, because that's where it was. Anyway, so I'm mowing the lawn. And I'm just pushing the lawn mower. And I'm looking at the dog turd. And I look back at the car. Then I look back at the dog turd again. And I look back to the car. And I look back to the dog turd. And the whole time, just getting closer and closer. It was like one of those things where you know something bad is going to happen but you don't look away because it's gonna be awesome. So I'm pushing the lawnmower, and that's, you know, I, I, I hit the dog turd with the lawnmower, and the dog turd hit the blade of the lawnmower, and it went and just spattered all over the passenger door of his car, just all up the side, and it was brown and sticky, just everywhere. And then I just kept mowing the lawn because how do you really apologize for something like that? I don't think I have the skill of language to come up with the words to say that I'm sorry for that and make it seem like it wasn't really my fault. Like, I couldn't just go up and go, hey, I was mowing the lawn and one thing led to another. The side of your car is just a mosaic of dog shit. You should clean that up because it's awful. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. So anyway, my name is Matt, and I make videos every Tuesday and Friday, and this is, if this is your first time watching my video, I'm sorry. And if you don't by now think that I'm a huge dick, you could subscribe if you like. And if you enjoyed the video, click a thumb button or share it with a friend who might also enjoy it. I don't, I don't care. Um, I'm just going to put this microphone down and, and walk away now. So I'm just going to put this right here. Dicks! I dare to go outside and hold hands with strangers. Yeah, Mac, go outside and interact.